Get in color where you're highlighting a retired Hartford police officer who has worn several hats during his life. That's right. That includes becoming a published author, a professional model, an actor even. NBC Connecticut's Brisada Lineverde shares with us his remarkable story of resilience. Roberto Alfaro vividly remembers his childhood in New York during the 1960s and 70s. I grew up in one of the worst drug and gang infested neighborhoods of the South Bronx. At home, things were hard. My father was an abusive and, and violent alcoholic. And in school, he struggled with bullies. He uh, ended up beating me up so bad after school that I ended up in the emergency room. And that's when I said, enough is enough. Alfaro got into boxing, but that only kept attracting the wrong crowd, and he dropped out of school. Thankfully, I had some mentors that came into my life. His life started turning for the better. Alfaro was the first member of his family to attend college, and later he moved to Connecticut and became a Hartford police officer. Everything that I saw growing up, all the crime and all the people that I see getting killed and friends that I lost, and I wanted to make a difference. Alfaro served on the department for more than two decades, first as a patrol officer and then on the mounted unit. It was my dream to be a police officer all my life. Inside his Hamden home, there's a wall dedicated to all the accolades he received, including a Lifetime Achievement Award for being one of the founding members of the Hispanic Officer Association, which advocated for the advancement of Hispanics on the force. And kids need to see that. Kids on the, on, on the streets uh, of Hartford need to see that, that Hispanics r rising up and say, look, I could be, one day I could be uh, a sergeant, I'm one day I could be a lieutenant or a chief, you know. As a decorated police officer, Alfaro inspired one of his sons to follow in his footsteps. This is my youngest son. He's, he's uh, graduating two days from, he's with Bristol PD. Beyond the badge, Alfaro has held several titles in his life, including salsa instructor, motivational speaker, and professional model and actor. He has appeared in about 80 films and TV shows. Being on the big screen or being on TV and, you know, and, and um, because other people see that and say, wow, I, I, you know, that guy's on TV and, and, uh, and hear my story and say, wow, if he made it, you know, just, just the visibility part of it. Alfaro published a memoir, Fighting Through the Hurdles of My Life, in hopes of showing people there are other possibilities outside of the circumstances you are born into. I grew up in a really bad neighborhood, I, uh, suffered trauma from all the violence I saw at home and, and, as, and, and from the trauma I, I suffered as, as from being bullied, but I'm here. So that's what I do now. I go around, you know, just sharing my story and trying to hopefully make a difference in the life of other people. For NBC Connecticut News, I'm Briseida Landa Verde. So important to have those mentors. No matter yeah. where you come from, if you have someone good that you can look up to, it's very, very important. It could redirect your life. And he's had an amazing life. He has. He's done a See little bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. Stay with us as much as you're ahead at six. Mike is here with us.